The Italian print and broadcast journalist Francesca Ranchin has been following new developments unfolding in Ethiopia and trying to reveal the realities on the ground. She has written various articles on the current issues in Ethiopia as part of this move in the face of many false allegations Ethiopia is grappling with. One such issue is the defamation of the National Army by involving it in the looting which was committed by the TPLF terrorist groups. She says this is a part of a plan being made to delegitimize the incumbent. As for the fact that the many are accusing the National Defense Force in the recent lootings, I see it as a continuous attempt to uh, delegitimize the Ethiopian administration. Uh, as I said, I think nobody could ever say that the, nat that, that, that the National Defense Force uh, is perfect or that they cannot commit mistakes, but in this case, uh, the testimonies about the responsibilities of the TPLF seem overwhelming. Even the USA, the uh, mission director, Sean John, talked about uh, lootings committed by the TPLF. And it, it is also one of the very first times uh, where they refer no, to the TPLF rather than using other uh, creative expressions in order not to pronounce that words. The push being made by some countries and groups on Ethiopia to come to the negotiation table with the terrorist group TPLF, which has been ravaging and killing civilians in broad daylight, is also another conspiracy of confusion against the government. Well, I think that also this is part of the propaganda that they keep going on because this rhetoric seems uh, uh, aimed at confusing the public opinion and again uh, empowering one side uh, against uh, the other. This confusion, I think, has been uh, going on since the beginning because, uh, for instance, uh, Tigray is a region, right? Sometimes they talk about it as it was uh, a sovereign uh, state, which is not. And again, uh, an ethnic uh, secessionist war led by the TPLF uh, against the multi ethnic. Uh, federal government has been narrated as if it was a defensive war against the, um, the ethnic cleansing operation committed by the government. So the role of victim and oppressor have constantly switched. She has also lashed out at some NGOs which pay no attention to the crimes being perpetrated by the TPLF, clearly showing that they are double standard agents children uh, were uh, uh, fighting uh, along with the TPLF soldiers uh, didn't uh, capture the attention that uh, other issues uh, did, uh, right? Uh, so I find incredible that uh, no one single tweet uh, or post uh, in their social uh, platform uh, has been dedicated uh, to this issue. Mm. I think uh, really this is, uh, this is also very sad because uh, uh, NGOs should do a, an important uh, job, right? Uh, using this double standard can uh, really weaken the trust that people have uh, regarding these uh, NGOs. And Francesca also says the voice of the majority of Ethiopians have been missing in most part of the media, while they are always ready to hear from experts and organizations overseas. Very little is told about what Ethiopian people think and feel, being almost silenced.